have you got sort of general rules around how long uh, you've got to apply a particular strategy for until you see results? Is it the same strategy that you use in the moment as what you should be using over the course of a month, if that makes sense? It, it comes back to the three pillars of the psychological system, the biological system and systems and skill set. So what you're talking about is a, an example of implementing a system and skill set, uh, a system meaning a habit or a skill or a strategy or a technique. What I learned early on, Tyson, or a bit later on, I would do that stuff and then people would fall off. And I was like, I don't get it. We spoke so much about that stuff. And that's what got me deeper into the health stuff, particularly brain health. The brain has prefrontal cortex, temporal lobe, right? It's got different lobes, but the brain's invisible. So people make it about personality, not biology. For example, if your brain has limited blood flow, um, parts such as the prefrontal cortex won't fire. Your ability to have forethought, forward thinking and impulse control will fall off. If your nervous system is dysregulated and you have something known as low vagal tone, vagal tone referring to how reflexive your vagus nerve is, which allows the body to feel safe, calm, and to connect, if there's low tone, you'll fall off strategies. So what I saw to answer your question is, I'm going to get the biological foundation solid. And from that place, we're going to talk more about strategy and one of my favorite frameworks I highly recommend, his name's BJ Fogg. You may have heard of him. He's a Stanford professor. It transformed the way I work with clients to create long-term change because his formula is BMAP. It stands for behavior equals motivation. He calls it the motivation monkey. We go, oh, I'm fired up today. Let's go. But the next day, motivation's gone. So we can't rely on motivation. This is another trap when it comes to strategies that I go to people, is your brain kind of all or nothing? Like you're succeeding or you're failing. You need to smash it all out. It needs to be perfect. And they go, yeah. And I go, welcome to the human race. Every client <laughs> I've worked with, that's how brains work. When, when a brain is in sympathetic activation, it will do perfectionism, black and white thinking, catastrophizing, all or nothing, success or failure. So... BMAP takes that into account that if your brain's going up and down, you're not going to feel motivated. And what I like is A or Matt, one of them stands for ability, ability. So with a strategy to build it to a capacity someone can do. Remember, I got fired up earlier because I see innocently and lovingly practitioners go, here, go and change your diet and do this. It's too far beyond the ability of the client. They go out, they try for a week, they fall off and they think, I suck. It wasn't matched to the ability. And P stands for a prompt. Do you have some sort of system in place to remind you that's at the front of your yeah. mind to give your brain clarity? If we're lacking that, good luck. I've seen it so many times. They go, I suck. I'm like, you don't. You just haven't figured it out. Yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 